Many people think that singing in Russian is very difficult. However, it is not so. Russian diction is not much more difficult than French, for example, or German. In fact, most Russian sounds are similar to what we have in English, Italian, German and French. There are just a few sounds that need to be explained separately. So let's go over the alphabet and see what sounds do we have. A, B, V, G, D, E, J, Z, Z, I, Y, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, T, U, F, H, C, Ч, Ш, Щ, И, Э, Ю, Я. There are just a few sounds that require additional explanation. They are marked in bold font in this chart. We are going to talk about them in a moment. Some editions published before 1917 or reprints of those may contain also letters that are not in use anymore. You will not find these symbols in contemporary Russian language on contemporary Russian keyboard and you might face difficulties finding the translations for the words with old orthography spelling. In the chart below you can see those letters and how they are translated into contemporary orthography. However, if you use our study materials, you will not face this problem. Let's talk about Russian vowels. There are two important concepts to understand about Russian vowels. First is that in stressed and unstressed positions, most of the vowels sound slightly differently. In stressed position, they are articulated clearly and distinctly. In unstressed position, we articulate them with less force. For example, if we take the vowel O, in stressed position, we will have a clear O. In unstressed position, we will have a sound in between O and A, like in the word love in English. So, for example, if we take the word malako, which means milk, we will have three O vowels, but only one of them is stressed. This is the last one. So, we say malako. Only one O is a definite O. The rest are in between O and A, like in the word love in English. The same with the word salavei which means nightingale, and you're going to have plenty of this word in art songs. With the vowel ye, in stressed position, it is clear ye. In unstressed position, it's in between ye and e. Like in the word visna, which means spring. Another important thing to understand about Russian vowels is that they come in pairs of hard and soft vowels. So for the hard vowel A we have a soft pair ya. For the hard vowel E we have a soft pair ye. For the hard vowel O we have a soft pair yo. For the hard vowel U we have a soft pair e. And for the hard vowel U we have a soft pair u. Hard vowels do not affect the preceding consonant. Soft vowels make the preceding consonant soft. Let's practice and read some words together. Ya, yeyo, ani, maya, tibe, eta, neba, Ещё Ива Молоко Одиноко 
Rika. There is one vowel sound that is challenging for most of non-Russian speaking singers. This is the sound U. This is basically the hard version of the vowel E. In speech, to make it, we stretch our lips sideways and we push our tongue backwards. However, in singing, as we all know, it is not recommended to push the tongue backwards. So, you can try to produce the sound U, starting from U sound. Let's start with U and then stretch our lips to the sides. So, we will have U. Like in the word ulipka, which means smile. Usually in singing it is easier to produce this sound than in speech, because in singing we can modify vowels in order to produce better quality sound. So we drop our jaw a little bit and it comes out something in the middle between u and e. Now let's practice the vowel u. We separate syllables first. B, V, D, L, M, P, R, S. And with the actual words. V, T, M, R, B, R, S. Быть, привычка, слыхали. And my favorite word with two is унылый. Sometimes students ask me if it is possible to find an art song that does not include this sound. Unfortunately, as you can see, some of the words with the sound ы are very basic like you or us or to be so in fact it is not possible to find an art song that would not include this sound unfortunately another important concept that we need to understand about russian diction is that although most consonants are similar to what we have in other languages the principal difference is that most of them exist in two versions hard, unpalatalized, and soft, palatalized, depending on the following vowel. Soft vowels make the consonant before them soft as well. There are three consonants that are always hard, no matter which vowel is following them. C, sh, z. If the following vowel is soft, these consonants change it into a hard pair, like in the word nozhenki. And there are two consonants that are always soft, ch and sh, like in the word chai. To make a palatalized consonant sound out of an unpalatalized, the center of the tongue should be raised toward the front of the palate. It is very important that the soft consonant glides into the vowel and there is no stop or y sound between them. In a way, it is similar to French diction. So we had hard la and soft la, like French la, l'amour. We have hard le and soft le, like French l'étoile. We have hard lo and soft le, like French le. We have hard me and soft me, like English me. We have hard lu and soft lu, like French lumière. Let's practice them. First, hard consonant, then soft consonant. K, k, g, g, h, h, d, d, s, s. Z, Z, P, P, 
Л, Л, Б, Д, Р, Р, М, Н, 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 Т, Т, Ф, Ф, В, В. And now let's practice with vowels. Са, ся. Се, се. Си, си. Со, се. Су, сю. In IPA, soft consonants are marked with this little sign under each of the consonants. So if you have your IPA phonetics for your song, you don't have to worry trying to figure out which consonant is soft and which is hard. You can just read the phonetics and see it straight away. Just like in other languages, in Russian we have voiced and unvoiced consonants and they work in similar ways. There are six pairs of voiced and unvoiced consonants that are important to know. An unvoiced consonant changes into its corresponding voiced one when immediately precedes one of the following voiced consonants G, D, Z, Z, B Like in the word сделать A voiced consonant changes into its corresponding unvoiced one when immediately precedes an unvoiced consonant or when is in final position Улыбка, друг, любовь. You will need to know these rules if you would like to do the IPA phonetics for your songs by yourself. If you use our study materials, you don't have to worry about that because this job is already done for you. In Russian, we have some specific consonants like ш. In fact, it is just a palatalized ш. It reminds of the German word schön. An example is a Russian word shimit. Another one is ye. In English we have a similar sound in the word yellow, for example. Almost always the sound is used after a vowel. Rochei, tihi, nachnoi, utenni, prastoi. We also have two mute consonants. Hard sign which serves as a break between a consonant and a vowel in the middle of a word, like in the word отъезд or объятие. The other one is soft sign. It serves as a break, plus it softens the consonant before. Мать льет ноженьки. Let's do some more practice. Да, нет, не, пой, песня, музыка, весна, соловей, роза, страсть, милый. Also, we have clusters of consonants, double consonants in phonetics are written as single, however, are often pronounced with a slight tenuto. Утренний. We have a cluster of ця, ця at the end of words, and this cluster is pronounced as ца, like in the word Mozart. In some words, when we have a cluster of consonants, some of the letters become mute. Here are the most important examples of that you are most likely to come across in singing. Что? Его счет счастье солнце сердце чувство страстный грустный радостный прелестный. So this is basically all you need to know about Russian phonetics and Russian diction to start with. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I made it a little bit clearer. Visit our website www.russian4singers.com and our YouTube channel for more videos and diction guides. You can purchase scores 
with IPA phonetics and word-by-word -word translations from our website. Thank you and thanks for singing Russian music.